So biomarker stands for a biologic marker, and essentially it's any test uh, or molecular difference or sometimes even location uh, of a tumor that may guide uh, treatment for cancer. A uh, biomarker may tell us uh, about biologic differences between cancers, so we kind of think about cancer as this one just thing. Uh, but we know even with colon cancer and colorectal cancer that if you take 100 people with colorectal cancer, you may get 100 different tumors with 100 different biomarkers. Uh, and so a biomarker really is anything that makes that tumor different than say a normal cell or sometimes even another tumor. A biomarker may also tell you a little bit about prognosis. And what I mean by that is, well, how aggressive is a ca cancer gonna behave? Uh, and how might that affect uh, the person, the patient? A biomarker may also tell you what kind of treatments may be available for a particular person's cancer. And so we may utilize a biomarker to tell us to use a treatment because we think it'll be more effective or to maybe not use a treatment because we know it won't work. And so biomarkers can be important in terms of treatment selection as well. So it can tell us about the differences about a tumor, can tell us a little bit about how aggressive a tumor may behave, and it may predict what treatments may or may not work for a person. For biomarkers for colorectal cancer, we use them sometimes to select patients for particular treatments, particularly in the metastatic setting. And so it's one of those things where we want patients to ask their physician, have you tested my tumor for biomarkers? And we use several biomarkers uh, to determine who may receive what treatments. Again, this is more common in the metastatic setting than it is in earlier stages of colorectal cancer. Uh, this may be a mutational analysis for several genes. Uh, it may honestly even be what side the tumor is on, so what side the tumor develops. So if it develops on the left colon versus say the right colon, you may actually determine treatments based off that information as well. So biomarkers don't always have to be these mutational analyses and kind of high-tech things. Sometimes biomarkers can even be what side a tumor develops in the colon. Recent data has shown us that tumors that develop on the left side of the colon versus the right side of the colon may behave differently. And why this is important is because sometimes tumors that develop on the left side may respond to targeted therapy or targeted treatments for metastatic colorectal cancer different than the right side. We also know that the prognosis of a person's cancer, so how aggressive that cancer is, may be different, may behave differently on the left side versus the right side. And that's why even with all these molecular markers where we do these you know, major mutational tests uh, for a person's cancer, uh, even the side that it develops on uh, may change your treatment management. And again, it's just something that we want patients to be aware of, and it's something that we want patients to discuss with their doctor. And just to ask their doctor, my tumor developed on the left side or the right side. How does this treat, how does this change the treatment uh, for me? How does this change the thinking uh, of how you might treat my cancer? We want to empower patients with the best information possible, and we also want to empower our patients to ask their doctors any question that they want to. Uh, when you have questions, you deserve answers. Um, but we want to be able, be able to help patients also know what to ask. Uh, and simply asking uh, to their doctor, what biomarkers have you tested my tumor for? And how does that affect how you think about my cancer? How does that affect the treatment of my cancer? Already, you're at kind of like that next level of discussing, discussing your, uh, your care, your treatment with your doctor. Uh, and, and it helps you understand what your doctor is doing uh, to help make sure that he or she is providing the best care possible for your individual cancer.